Hey everyone, welcome back to the video. I hope you all are doing great and I also hope that you guys have watched the previous video where we integrated MS Excel and MS PowerPoint in our Jarvis, in our advanced virtual assistant Jarvis. And in today's video, we will be integrating Instagram to our Jarvis where we will make Jarvis open Instagram for us. So the people who don't know what Instagram is, it's a platform where you can interact with people around the world. Uh, suppose you're at one place, you can interact with someone else from another place. There are many things like Instagram Shorts, sorry, Instagram Reels, Instagram Story, and many other things where you can, you know, interact, uh, where you can create, a, you know, a base or platform, uh, where you can do a lot of things. So people who know well, good enough. So we are going to integrate our Jarvis into, uh, oh, sorry, we are going to integrate Instagram into our Jarvis, where we will be making Jarvis open it. So without wasting more time, let's get straight into the video. So guys, right now I'm uh, in my PyCharm right here where we did the last programming, uh, where we integrated uh, Date, Excel, PowerPoint and many more. Uh, I hope you guys have watched that and also got the source code. And today's video source code also will be there in the description along with all of these. So make sure to check them out. Before checking out the source code, make sure to check out the video on how to access the source code. I will leave all the links in the description so make sure to check out the description so today let's program uh, to integrate our uh, instagram in our jarvis so the next video we will be integrating maybe you know facebook uh, maybe even we can try out for twitter many other social media platforms we can just uh, you know integrate that in our jarvis and maybe automate it in the in the you know for the videos where we can inter you know totally automate uh, automate or uh, web browsers like Chrome or uh, whichever web browser you have, we can automate that. So here we can put uh, open Instagram. Uh, this is one uh, uh, natural processing language where we can put uh, in self dot query. Then we can put an or statement where we can put another command. Or we can put like could you open Instagram now you must be wondering why should we you know integrate Instagram in our Jarvis why not we just rather go to Instagram from our web browser and do the work so it's a good question first of all now the thing is in further videos what we are going to do is we are going to make our Jarvis into a startup system uh, in the sense if I tell when we on our device maybe laptop or PC or whichever device you're programming your Jarvis in when you on your system along with that even Jarvis should uh, you know wake up or it should on it should get on uh, it should activate so when you click on the on button of your device along with that with the startup menu uh, even Jarvis should start so suppose your uh, you want your you know system and uh, maybe you want uh, uh, Instagram to be open like for example uh, you want to see something in Instagram so when you on your system as uh, as soon as that your Jarvis is there in the background so you can easily tell Jarvis open Instagram and you can just open Instagram as it is so you need not uh, open Chrome go to whatever specific uh, you know browser or all those things you need not do where the Jarvis itself will do and secondly what we are going to do is we are going to automate it for example if you want to like something in Instagram we can make Jarvis do that so you can say Jarvis like the post or maybe Jarvis upload a video or upload a post or something you want to automate it in Instagram we can do through Jarvis and how do we do that only if we are able to integrate that so here I've put another uh, natural processing language where we can put please open Instagram. So here we have put uh, could you open Instagram? Uh, uh, could you uh, open Instagram? Could you open Instagram? Please open Instagram. Um, yeah, in self dot query. Uh, we can also put another natural processing language called um, can you open Instagram so more 
how we have the languages it becomes easier for us to interact with the virtual assistant and that much it becomes easy for the virtual assistant to understand our language so i am telling as i told you before in the before videos i can just show you the technique but to modify it's totally up to you how you want to modify it so that's on totally on you so now we can put speak function where we can get to know that okay the jarvis is going to open or uh, instagram so we can put opening instagram instagram so so we can do this exclamation mark and then we put the command right here so we are going to use something called as web browser web browser so if you don't know where this package is we have integrated in one of the packages right here above um somewhere right here this is again let me make this proper yeah so web browser is a package where we integrated from the files and from that what we have done is we are going to do is web browser dot open and we are going to give the url that is www dot instagram instagram dot com yeah now what we are going to do is we are going to make this as a function too because in the further videos what we are going to do is we are going to automate instagram right so what i will do is i'll just put is okay need not be is ins uh, is equal to web browser dot open www dot instagram dot com now why i did this in the further videos if we are going to automate we can just put you know for example uh if i have to give you uh, we can do something like uh, this this is an example okay uh it's something we can create a command like like post fine like post dot ins so what will happen is or what we can do is ins ins dot like post anything anything like this we can just create a command like that and you know automated like liking a post uploading it ins dot upload whatever url you want to give it from your file manager you can do that so here it will tell speak command opening instagram and here we can also create a print statement what about the print statement what we can do is we will take from the above maybe uh, there was one print statement right here we can take it from there uh, this was the song one right Uh, this is the song one speak function web browser See, again this is the same thing web browser dot open the same thing we just did it right here so that was there and right here i'll just take this yeah we can just take this this is a normal print statement we can what we can do is we can come here and we can just put it here so print opening 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 instagram yeah however you want it's totally up to you how you want to modify it uh, it's on how you want to integrate instagram in your virtual assistant so this is how i integrated it open instagram plus reset we will reset the terminal speak function web browser dot open uh, instagram dot com and we just created an ins command which we will be using in the further videos and before this i forgot to mention uh we need to add something called as a text right here called opening instagram because it will become easier for us in the future to access the command easily so let's just make this yeah instagram and this is done oh, yeah so this is how we integrate our instagram in our virtual assistant where we we'll make our virtual assistant open Uh, similarly we are going to integrate facebook many other things many other softwares applications many other things we are going to uh, integrate in our virtual assistant uh, but the main key function for us is this thing right here this and this thing uh, because with the help of this we are going to do a lot of automation and with the help of this we are going to open instagram so suppose we make this as a startup file in our device 
So when you op- when you on your system, when the virtual assistant is in the background, you can just you know tell uh, Jarvis open Instagram. It will open Instagram for you. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked it. Uh, I hope you got to know how to integrate Instagram in our virtual assistant. And I would suggest you guys to you know you know custom customize modify whatever you want to do or do it with it because it's the basis on you how you want the virtual assistant to react with you so this was a simple one which we just did we can add a little more you know uh natural processing languages right here some other languages and maybe you know speak function could be modified uh if you want web browser dot open you can add a little more features you know that thing we can do it in the automation itself so you need not worry about that maybe in the print statement you can modify you can put yellow color red or whatever you want to do you know modify it in the way how you want it to mod you know want it to so totally up to you so that's it for today's video guys i hope you liked it uh if you did make sure to like and subscribe and if you have friends who are want to uh, learn all this virtual assistant advanced virtual assistant do share it with them uh till then guys take care happy coding and stay tuned for the next upcoming videos Till then guys oh, peace out bye